Hi, my name is Lutas Butkus, and in today's video I want to talk about IOTA. Not that long ago, it was around a dollar at the peak, one dollar around one dollar ten cents, and right now it's only 62, 64 cents. So basically, 40 percent decrease in price has happened. Almost half of IOTA uh, value has disappeared. Still, the market cap is quite amazing, around two billion, and still it is a massive coin. But why did this happen? Yes, there was a huge correction this week, but it's not really related to that because IOTA is not Chinese, nor it is a uh, ICO platform so it's not related to the news and as you as you could have seen uh, the correction happened over here this was down for from the correction to 50 cents and now it bounced back to 72 and it has gone down again so why is it going down well uh, there's an interesting article Cryptographic vulnerabilities in IOTA. I will have a link to this in the description, but I will quickly summarize. And actually, this is the main summary of the whole article. And if you want, you can go through it all. But there's basically like two, three major takeaways from this. So, this team or a few people uh, found some some bugs, some critical vulnerabilities in IOTA uh, GitHub page. Basically, they were analyzing the code and found some vulnerabilities that could have led to uh, stolen funds, uh, stolen tokens, etc. Basically, major hacks could have happened, uh, but um, they didn't happen because these were not um, malicious hackers, they were uh, coming from the white hat hackers world where they are looking for vulnerabilities and helping out the companies. So this was fixed, but this, but they actually provide a, a troublesome report about the whole technology of IOTA. If we read this quote, in 2017, leaving your crypto algo algorithm vulnerable to different crypto analysis, differential crypto analysis is a rookie mistake. So this is the way of hacking a cryptocurrency. It says that no one of any caliber analyzed their system and that the odds that their fix makes the system secure is low. What they are plan what they are saying here is that even though the bug was fixed, but it was a rookie bug when you have a company that's valued two billion dollars and you're making rookie programming mistakes that can lead to massive hacks and massive losses of funds uh, that means you're not investing in security and that means that the, the technology might not be that great uh, I have previously said from what I have analyzed from what I have heard about IoT, that it is using a, a new data structure, a data structure that could be easily uh, said that is blockchain 2.0, because um, it lacks some of the problems of the blockchain and just builds upon uh, and builds new features. And it's really interesting, but it is still very new. Uh, the blockchain uh, basically started with Bitcoin in 2008, so um, that's um, nine years now. So it's a pretty long time for the technology to evolve. And the main blockchains um, where scientists, computer science people are working on uh, are quite secure. And there are some university initiatives. There's, I think, Ethereum 
labs or something where they are doing uh, research on these stuff also Bitcoin uh, have heard a lot of good things about Monero that also Zcash that they are investing a lot of time and energy into making their products secure trustworthy and for them to do what they are doing <coughs> these cryptographic currencies require a lot of knowledge a lot of um, investment and a lot of research into developing them and IoT is a new model of blockchain as I said blockchain 2.0 and from this article you can uh, get the picture that it is in very early stages even though uh, it doesn't look like from its capitalization of it being number 10 uh, but chances are um, it might go even lower from what I understand <clears throat> at least I'm not planning to invest in it right now unless the situation will change there are similar cryptocurrencies to IOTA I'm not sure if they are better in technology do they not lack the vulnerabilities I'm not too sure about that but Overall, in this article, you can get the picture that IOTA is not a polished nor finished product and it's not even using the best practices of the blockchain technology and the best practices of cybersecurity. Um, they are using not binary code but trinary. Uh, I think there's bytes 0, 1, and 2, if I'm not mistaken so they are not using the standard of binary and they are uh, missing out on a lot of technology of a lot of research uh, that is has already been proven to be secure and they are missing out on them also uh, their transaction uh, in IOTA are 10 kilobytes and for Bitcoin, a transaction is an average of 600 bytes. So that's almost 20 times bigger uh, of a transaction size. And for IOTA, its main purpose is actually to inter interact with uh with products, with Internet of Things, where everything is connected, your refrigerator, your cars, your everything will be connected to the network, to the Internet, and obviously these uh, things will not have a lot of memory, so they are actually lacking here, uh, they are making the transactions really huge, 20 times as bigger as the blockchain creates them in Bitcoin uh, so as they said meaning that this is not well suited to devices with limited storage like those used for Internet of Things and they are mainly promoting their coin for the Internet of Things and there was a huge problem over here so there's plenty of things that IOTA needs to work on, to research on, to develop and I'm not seen as a good cryptocurrency right now after reading this and maybe it will go up again but uh, from the security standpoint, from their technology standpoint I do believe that it's not it's not yet for its place in the cryptocurrency world. Uh, I think it should be down below over here, uh, maybe in the top 50, but not in top 10. That's my opinion. You can take it or leave it, but right now I'm not seeing IOTA as a good investment, and. It's, it's starting to look not that promising as it looked before. So, this is what I wanted to share with you. So basically there was a vulnerability that got fixed, but that alarms uh, that 
they aren't really that good at what they do. The transactions are 20 times bigger, not really suited for Internet of Things. So there are problems. We'll see how they will fix them. So maybe it is a good investment right now to uh, hold it when it's cheap because maybe when they fix it, it will go higher. I don't know, but I will not be investing in this. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Hope it was interesting and I will see you in the next video.